Hello creators, it's Melissa from Melissa's Creations and we are going to make this beautiful card today for the ICS Blog Hop Inspire, Create, Share and this month's theme is punches. So I have a few punches from the annual catalog that have been staples in my punch toolbox for a while now. I don't have any new punches to show you, but I always love to find different ways to use the punches that I already have. So I'm going to do this card for you today. It uses three different punches along with a couple of the die cuts from the detailed peacock dies. And that's the set that I'm using today, Royal Peacock. We're using the stamp, You Are Incredible here. I love that sentiment, as well as the detailed peacock dies. So like I said, I'm using these two dies from that set. I'm really excited to show you this card. It's so shiny with that beautiful champagne foil. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to do some cutting of our card stock. I have two pieces here. We have a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of Whisper White. I'm going to cut my card base as well as the top card mat. So for my card base, it's just a standard base that we cut at five and a half by eight and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate that to score it at four and a quarter. And the card mat for the front of our card is going to measure four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to use a piece of our basic gray cardstock to cut a thin mat to go underneath the top layer on the front of our card. So this piece is going to measure five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So it's going to give us a very thin border on the front of our card, but we're going to see a lot more gray underneath once we get those punches out. I'm using my Big Shot and my magnetic platform so that I can cut out those beautiful peacock dies with some of our champagne foil. This foil is beautiful and it has a very light pinkish hue. It's not super pink, it's, it's champagne color, but it also reflects what it's around. So I really like the champagne foil as opposed to a gold or a silver, which are very, solid colors. They're very harsh is a harsh word, but um, describing it against this champagne, this is just such a soft, lovely color. I think it's going to look really nice on this card. So we're going to slide a piece of that into our machine and we're going to just put our dies down and cut one of each of these. And I'm trying to maximize my space as much as possible. And when you get ready to put your cutting plate on top, if it's a wreck like mine is, it still cuts. It's still perfectly good. But if I were to put it flat down, it would really mess up this gorgeous, smooth surface I have on my foil. So what I like to do is slide it all the way in just to cover the dies. That way you're not getting that wrinkly look on the rest of your paper. So then you just kind of scooch it into your machine until you get it to catch and then you can roll it through. So now I have my dies cut out, but my the rest of my foil is perfectly clean. While I still have that foil, I'm going to take my half inch circle punch. It's so tiny and adorable, I love it. And I'm just gonna punch out a few different circles. So. Yeah, you can do however many you want. I think I'm gonna do about five or six. And I'm just going to try and maximize all of the space out of the leftover pieces. And you can see that I cut a not complete circle, which is totally okay because that will look really good on the end, on the edge of our card. And it'll kind of look like the pattern just flows right off the card. 
Now I'm going to punch the holes out of our two top pieces. So I'm gonna take my Whisper White and you want to punch the largest hole out of the Whisper White piece. So I have my two inch circle punch here and I'm going to slide that in and I'm just gonna put it in far enough so that it clears the edge. So I have about maybe a quarter of an inch. You wanna make sure that you don't put it in too far or else your second punch won't reach the middle of that circle. So I have maybe about a quarter inch of space at the top from the top of the card. So I have equal amount here and here. We're just going to punch that out. So there's that. And then I'm going to bring in my basic gray card mat. I'm gonna put that right on top. So now that I have those lined up, like I'm going to put them together, I'm going to put a dot right where the center of that circle is so that it will help me line up my next punch. So I have my one and a half inch circle punch here. So it's a half inch smaller than the first punch I used. And I'm just going to line that circle up right in the middle and give that a punch. So now, when we line up our card stocks again, we have a layered effect. So I can take all of my gorgeous foil bits and I'm going to go ahead and stick them all over my white card mat. And now I can stick down my other foil pieces. Now, if you'll notice on these pieces, I did not pop out the cuts, the cutouts on the inside of these. If they come out on their own, that's totally fine. I kind of like how they look when they are still on there. It's a more solid look. So I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna set that aside for just a second. I'm going to bring in my basic gray card mat I'm gonna put that onto the front of my card and I'm just laying it down so that, again, I can take that pencil and draw a circle so I know where I can stamp my sentiment. And you wanna draw very, very lightly or have a very good eraser so that you can erase that circle when you're done. So I've already mounted up my sentiment, you are incredible. And I have my basic gray classic stampin' pad. So we're just going to stamp in the middle of that circle. Now we're going to pop all of these layers up. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of my gray piece. Don't forget to click down in the description box below on the coordinating blog post so that you can hop along to all of the other wonderfully talented demonstrators participating in this month's Inspire, Create, Share blog hop dedicated to punches. And there we go, creators. There is our beautiful card using three different punches from the annual catalog, as well as a couple other pieces to make this card really special. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. You can follow me on the web at mcreations.com and on Facebook at facebook.com slash mcreations. I'm also on social media. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest with the handle at mcreations. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!